Hello everyone and welcome to the Pineheart stream. I'm honestly cannot fucking wait to show you this game. Um this was the absolute highlight of my WASD. Um, the team from Hyperluminal were down at WASD um and it was absolutely like the game uh, to play there. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and they were very kind enough to invite me to the launch party that took place on Wednesday last week. And they gave me a whole bunch of goodies. Now, admittedly, I'm not much of a, a beanie wearer. Uh, so I, I don't have the right shaped head for a beanie. I've never looked good in a beanie. I don't look good in hats, actually. Just general hats. But I do have... A Pinehearts beanie now, which is really fucking cool. Um, and it's pretty sweet. Uh, on top of that, they gave me a sewable patch um, for uh, for Pinehearts. I'll show that on screen. So they gave me this, and they not only is it a really cool patch, it also glows in the dark. It glows in the fucking dark. I can't wait to. I'm, I've actually, I've got a denim jacket that's got no patches on it whatsoever. I've just, I've never done that um and it's a glow in the dark patch which is really cool um they also gave me a whole bunch of pin badges that i've kept in their little plastic bags but we've got characters from pine hearts here uh, we've got star we've got the main character tyke whose beanie i'm wearing uh we have the journal we have dog because dog and we have Pine Hearts, the badge. Um, they also, and it's something that I don't have with me up here at the moment, uh, but they also gave me a camping cup, like a metallic camping cup that's got uh, Pine Hearts written on it, and it has all the characters from the game around it. Uh, and it was really, it was just, it was a really good event. They had um, like a DJ there, they had uh, a chocolate fountain, they had an absolute shitload of foods, they had. Uh, one of the things that I thought was really cool, and one of the things that I'll show you in the game, but this game has been built with, like, accessibility in mind from the ground up, and it's, like, an absolute standout uh, when it comes to indie game that's kind of gone through the motions. Obviously, you've got really big AAA games that have, um, you know, I'm thinking of, like, The Last of Us Remastered and some of the more recent Ubisoft stuff that have, like, went to town on um, menus and stuff, but... From uh, controlling and navigating, one thing that they had at the launch party, which was really cool, was all the accessible controllers. Um, so there's a controller thing that has, um, you control it with your chin. So you're actually moving with your chin, and then you've got the two buttons next to it. Um, there's other ones that are just like more kind of simplified controls, um, which allow people with, you know, mobility issues and stuff like that to play the game. Uh, so there was, a, there was a ton of options. It was really, really cool. Um... I really do like this beanie. It's very comfy, but I'm not going to wear it during the stream just because it's warm enough and um, it'll be good for camping if I ever do the West Island way again. Um, but anyway, before we begin, uh, you'll see probably sometime in chat uh, that um, I'm being sponsored by Proteinworks this, uh, for the next wee while. Um, they very kindly sent me a bunch of goodie bags. I'm actually drinking their um, Berry Blast Creatine uh, flavoured powder, which is pretty good for giving me the... You wonder why I'm talking so much at the moment. It's because of the energy from the creatine. Uh, but I'm drinking it in my very fancy Cult of the Lamb cup that I also got at Wazd. Um, Devolver were... Uh, I, had, I had to buy a beer in order to get this cup. Um, they, they, were, they were selling the cups individually for like four pound or I could get a beer with it and I, I don't really drink beer I don't I don't like the taste of beer um but I I drank a pint of beer for uh, for this cult of the lamb cup so um anyway you'll see the link in chat to uh, protein works um so I, that's the Betty blast stuff in there but one of the big products and one of the things that I I love and eat all the time is their Loaded Legends bars. So they're running a really big sale on Loaded Legends at the moment. They're protein bars. If any of you want that pro like extra bit of protein to get you over the line and help you, uh, you know, some of you might be wanting to like gain muscle or gain um, a little bit of weight or whatever. Um, Loaded Legends is the is the place to do it. Um, so do check them out. Use the link in chat and use code I and you'll get some money off. What more could you possibly want? Um, 
Right, so we are today checking out Pine Hearts. Very excited for it. I am going to hit the game just now. We're going to dive on in. And hopefully everything works flawlessly. Because we've never had an issue with OBS ever. Ever. Um, so, here we go. And you'll also see... I have a brand new Xbox controller, thank you to the very kind people who donated some money for it in the Discord. I can now play without having to mash the LB button and hope that it works. So thank you very much, you have helped me uh, do the one thing that actually keeps me sane that will allow me to continue playing games. Um, but anyway, this is Pine Hearts and it's already so lovely, I love the art style in this. Uh, we're going to jump on in. Uh, we can capture gameplay data, I don't mind that. Um, and right off the bat you have options, you have default controls, so you have full control inputs which include timed and held button presses, but there's also the option to remove that in its entirely. Uh, reduce control input complexity, removes timed and held button presses, it replaces them with a single button press, which is great. So we're going to go with default, um, and of course you've also got different visual modes, so standard visuals and aesthetics displayed with no additional filters, but there's also like block colours to key interactables, so allowing people who maybe struggle to see um, different interactable environments, uh, you've got that option. And again, one of the great things about this is it hits you with them right away, and I think that's something that I really quite respect about games when they, when they do that, when they go, like, here is how like on first load up instead of having people going and digging away in like a menu somewhere it's just like okay what do you want the baseline to be um so if you still wish to update or change any accessibility settings you can do it at any time from the title screen or pause menu by hitting the button i have a stretchy sippy combo okay i will have a drink and again another thing that i actually think is really quite cool is um Accessibility is actually first in the menu, which is nice. Um, so we are going to dive in there. Obviously there's accessibility on the gameplay, there's accessibility on the UI, so I can increase uh, the text size for anyone who would like that. There's a dyslexic friendly font available, um, and you can also skip UI animations and stuff like that. There's also visual support, you can dial up the contrast, you can do the colour blocking, you can have it as black and white. Um, and you can also remove screen shake. Now, I don't know how severe screen shake is. Um, if anyone uh, who's watching would prefer me to remove screen shake, um, let's say you, you see it and you're not a fan, uh, let me know and I'll flick it off. But anyway, let us begin our trip. So this is published by Little Nook, which was established in 2023, and Hyperluminal Games are based in Dundee. And this is the pristine, always sunny Scottish countryside. We have a goal. Climb mountains. Climb all the mountains. Climb every single mountain. In Scotland, if you climb all the Munros, or people who try and climb all the Munros, are called Munro Baggers. So there's a little bit of uh, knowledge for you. Time to go. Oh. <laughs> no. Our journal. I like their little faces. I like how expressive you can make two curvy lines on a face. <laughs> and with that, it is time to begin our journey. 
into pain heart. And we are at reflection point. And there's a dog over there already. Excellent. Someone's left a magazine on that disc. Oh, first mission in the game. First mission in the game is to pet the dog. It shall be done. I can hold B to like leisurely stroll here. I'm actually just gonna toggle the... Yeah, that's better. Cool. I, I prefer to hold a button down to run instead of holding a button down to walk. Right, we're gonna chase the dog. Oh, squirrel! Ten out of ten for squirrels. Cave clearing. The trailhead. Right, who's this? Mission accomplished. Achievement done. The achievement's actually called a Bonnie dog, and it's pet the dog. Enticed over by Bonnie's charms, eh? Every time she hears that train pull in, she's off to make friends. Welcome to Pine Hearts. It's Ranger Maddie who's talking to us. Say, you look familiar. Is that you, Tyke? Gosh, I haven't seen you since we were kids. I can't believe it. I still remember going crab catching in the rock pools with you. Remember that sandcastle catastrophe? If the writing noise, like the pencil scratching noise on the, um, the dialogue is getting a bit much for people, let me know. I actually just spotted some of you and your dad's old handiwork on the standing stone the other day. Anyway, sorry, listen to me rambling on. It's just good to see you again. You look well. I take it you're here to tackle the mountain. It's a tough climb, and it doesn't look like you've got the gear for it. Tyke, it'd be irresponsible of me as both a ranger and a friend to let you through. I'm sorry. But if you help me out, we can kickstart your gear supply. If you do me a favour and clear some old rockfall with this hammer, you can keep it. There's a blocked path across the bridge over there that leads to a nearby cave. Clear a path through the cave and we can talk about next steps. Hammer acquired. Nice. I will pet the dog again for good luck. I do like the running animation, it's so, it's so jolly. <laughs> This is how I run around the Scottish countryside. And... Up. Down. Cool. The Standing Stone. We have collected 50 water droplets. And we can now view a memory. Oh, by the way, this game's gonna get emotional, just so y'all know. It's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be emotional. You can all brace for impact. <laughs> Making, yeah, I know. Sorry, I, ha I, I, I try not to. Vandalizing <laughs> ancient stone structures, why not? But we now know how to push trees. 
which is excellent. Push all the trees now. Ah. Oh, there's the dog again. Is that the same dog? Oh, we are not we are not allowed to go past. The dog is blocking the path. Boom. Tiny cave. that just yet. <laughs> yeah, the health and safety doing just directing us to safety. I like it. Nice. Cave cleaning. And we now... In fact, we can now push this tree over, actually. Oh. There we go. Push. I... I am a little bit nervous about the other bushes. I don't know if you can milk them or not. I don't want to milk a bush. It's not how it works. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Clearing that path has been on my to-do list for ages. You've definitely earned that hammer. The standing stone's beautiful, isn't it? Smack bang in the center of Pine Hearts. Amazing that someone centuries ago also saw the beauty in this place. I'm still surprised by this place. Whenever I think I know it, wham, here's something new to discover. That's why I became a ranger, been in love with Pine Hearts and it surprises my whole life. So I figured I may as well stay and help look after it. Why don't you explore around a bit, Tyke? A lot of the skills used to get around Pine Hearts are key for navigating the mountain. Ah, Bonnie's off again. There's some kids at the campsite she adores. She'll be heading there. Can you give her this treat and then send her back my way? It's worth checking out the campsite yourself. It's a beautiful bit of land and there's always some characters there. Treat acquired. <laughs> okay, so we're not going this way. I'm guessing we're also not going this way. But it's kind of relaxing, right? That's nice. Okay, let's go. I know, I just, I love, I love the run. The run is very cute. I wonder if the, ah, the dog has steered us in a different direction now. There's the dog. Bonnie the dog. Good girl, give Bonnie a dog treat, nice. I want to know how the people actually got to this campsite. Maybe there's a completely other path that they went. We're going the deforesting route. To be fair, they are old trees, so it's like... It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Blur, you do not need to see yourself out. You're very welcome here, and you only speak the truth. <laughs> awesome, campsite, here we go. Oh, what? There's litter! Who do we batter for the litter? The campsite's a mess, a pigsty, a disaster zone. This is mischievous Mihai. We didn't do it, honest, it was the gruff, gruffumpy, gruffumpkin. Our pal Ronan went off looking for it, but they haven't come back. I hope it didn't eat them. We'd go looking, but we don't know where to start. It's not like we're scared or anything, right guys? There's a weird guy looking for the Grafumpkin too. He's set up camp over by the river. Why would an adult be looking for it if it wasn't real, huh? The Grafumpkin. That's a nice bench. Par for the course, it's expected. Oh, I'm just stealing stuff out of people's bags. Those kids aren't fooling anyone. I know they're the ones that messed up the camp. Sorry, ignore me. I'm upset I lost my Cubano in the kerfuffle is all. 
The smoke from the fire should keep the midges at bay. No chance. Nah. <laughs> Absolutely not happening. Midges are uh, the worst, actually. What's this? Added to back. What is. Oh, it's a tent peg. Cool. I like that I'm just wasting people's fuel. Oh, there's another tent peg. We're gonna need that, aren't we? <laughs> Let's harass someone awake. Kipping Chris, hmm? Oh, thanks, I guess. I'm still adjusting to the time zone. That's a bit rude. All I wanted was to toast a wee marshmallow over a fire, but we've nae kindling. This is old mallow. Could you help an old wifey out and fetch some for me, dear? I think three stumps of wood should do. Jings, I forgot. You'll need a hatchet too. Once you find one that the stumps didn't stand a chance. We have Scott's writing in this game. Fuck yeah. You love to see it. See, this is the benefit. You know, it's like there should be more Scottish game studios. What's better than toasting one marshmallow? Toasting two marshmallows. This is true. What's this? Is that, a, is that a burger? That is a burger, okay. Sure. Stealing those delicious drips. What's down here? Ah, can't go this way. And folks, as I mentioned, uh, there is a code in chat for an extra 10% off of Protein Works. Again, I am drinking their uh, mono creatine monohydrate, their berry one, uh, which is really nice. Um, but their focus is on the Loaded Legends. Uh, Loaded Legends are fucking excellent. They're like good protein bar snacks. Uh, I always eat them before I go and do sport or go to the gym. Um, and there's, as it says in chat, there is a sale that's 80% off. You get an extra 10% discount on top of it. Uh, if you use my code I and use the, the link in chat, so do check it out if you've got a chance. It's a way of supporting the channel, and it's a way of grabbing yourself some snacks at the same time. Right. Cheers, blow up. Thank you. What's this? Those pesky kids. I turned my back for five minutes and it looks like Hurricane Freed Helms rolled through. My poor tent pegs have been scattered all over the campsite. I need to start tidying up. Would you be able to find my pegs, please? Once you have all four, can you bring them back to me? Thanks. Great. You already started collecting them. There should be more around here somewhere. Nothing beats a wee duke in the brook after a nice long walk. Can I speak to the guy there? We're gonna help Paul with his pegging. The Phew, <laughs> thanks pal. Note to self, remove backpack before lying down next time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would hope so. We'll head to the ruined castle next. That should animate the imagination. Just stealing someone's marshmallows. Menace to society, steal all the marshmallows. That's cute. A few birds on his head. Can I sit on the log? No. Oh, we've got the hammer. We can progress here. That's a different dog! Is that a different dog? Yeah, it is a different dog. Ah, oh boy. Grab that blue thing there. Oh, fishing area. Nice. Ah, I don't have the required things for this. Does it mean, oh, there'll be an achievement for petting all the dogs? That's what it'll be. Eek. 
castle bridge. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is cursed. Oh, frog. Love to see it. We've arrived at the haunted area. I feel like we're not supposed to be here yet. Who? Oh, it's Ronan! Who's that? Stay back, ghost. I have a stake and I'm not afraid to use it. Are ghosts stakeable? <laughs> oh, an adult. I can get I can get out. I've been stuck here for ages in this creepy castle. I squeezed my way through this gate while I was hot on the trail of the Grafumpkin. Problem is, now I can't squeeze back out. I saw a thingamajig nearby that might move this big metal gate. Looked like a big motor full of machinery bits. Please hurry though. It's only a matter of time until a spooky spectre shows up and I'm all out of garlic. Boom. Oh, we do not have anything here. I think we might have to abandon this small child to his portacullis doom and go and do something else. Hey Al, how you doing? We're abandoning children in the woods. <laughs> it's what they deserve. Okay, we'll go... I was gonna say, we'll go back to the, the sun. Yes, Ronan is a child. <laughs> so what's down here then? Did we? We just stole Fisher Ferenc slice of cheese. I was told this would be a great spot, but that story seems a little fishy now. Uh, okay. Cheese acquired. Oh, a peg. We, we are literally stealing everything around this camp. Lone camper. Aha! What creature approaches me? A devilish red cap come to terrorise me? Or maybe a shape-shifting selkie? What? Neither? Are you quite sure? One can never be too careful. See, I'm technically wearing a red cap. I'm here on the expedition of the century, stalking the elusive Grafumpkin. Of course you've heard of the Grafumpkin, haven't you? It's up there with the other great mythological creatures such as Bigfoot and Nessie. This isn't my first furry facing ferocious fables. I have done my research and believe that this time I know the perfect bait. A burger! Magnificently simple, isn't it? I, ha I had myself a good chuckle when I figured it out. The trick is in how it's prepared the Grafumpkin is a very picky eater, you see. I was about to depart and acquisition a grill from one of the local campers. Annoyingly, all this specialist equipment doesn't set itself up. I say if you want to be part of the discovery of the century, would you lend a hand? Here are some instructions for the preparation, and as for the ingredients, a wide burger! I had them here. See if, see if there's an onion ring on a burger, just fuck off. <laughs> uh, I've see, I'm sure you've seen the state of the campsite, work of the Grafumpkin, no doubt. I do recall seeing the ingredients still around, however. As soon as you have the most glorious of American cuisine, bring it to me. History smiles on the brave and sometimes the hungry. Sure. No, onion rings are delicious. Onion rings on burgers are, like, unnecessary. The burger is already good. Like, why not just have a burger and a side of onion rings? Like... Oh, I'm just stealing everything. Can I speak to these ladies who are enjoying a slice of cake? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> just don't mind me! 
Mars, a, a deep fried Mars bar is actually not bad. The trick is, when you're deep frying a Mars bar, what you don't do is you don't deep fry them in the same thing as you deep fry everything else in. If you have a deep fryer that's specific to making the chocolate Mars bars, then the chocolate Mars bars, the deep fried Mars bars, of course Mars bars are chocolate. Um, Yes, I know you'd like to adopt a squirrel, but Ranger Maddie was very clear. Eager Ewan, I like it. I like that robin in the tree, that's very cute. Yes, we found all the pegs. I may have overdone it with the Grafumpkin talk with Abby. I was just trying to keep it away from the hot grill. You've terrorised the small child. Okay. So what's up here then? What's over here? Oh, oh. Oh, we can't cross that yet. Mm. I like games with this general kind of like vibe. There's so many like shortcuts that you unlock and stuff. Nah, I don't think I can climb. I think they're only drop off points. That. Yeah. Bye. You cannot pet the rabbits. Very sad. Okay, so the barbecue area is separate from the campsite. I've got those pegs, so I'm going to deliver them back to the guy. This is the lower camp. Can I push that tree? I cannot. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're back here. It's... The peg guy was here, wasn't he? Pegless Paul. Brilliant, you found all the pegs. My camping trip is saved. This is awkward, I've misplaced my hammer. Could you knock them in as well? God damn, just do everything for this guy. Okay, that's one. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I am hammering that peg. Boom. And one more. Without you, I'd be sleeping beneath the stars tonight. What a lifesaver. Give me all of your money. Hey, Stargate, how you doing? Hopefully I can lull you to sleep. <laughs> ah, terrible. So hold on, quest log wise, we need bacon, buns, cheese, patty, and vegetables. So, where would a uh, patty be? Campsite's a mess. Sorry, we've already spoken to these folk. We need to find those burger buns. Wait a minute, that's it in the tree, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> sure, that works. Right, so we need to find something called vegetables, which sounds like a trick. Feel like vegetables are made up. This game can't be too Scottish. It knows what a vegetable is. Okay, I don't think it's this way. I reckon it'll be the lower camp.
Lone Campers HQ. This is where we found the bacon, so yeah. Sorry, mods, can someone chuck on slow mode? Things are going too fast in chat for me to, like, play and read at the same time. Just so I can read stuff as well, it would be handy. Right, who owns vegetables? Cheers, Thunder. That's cute. Sophie is just wanting to hang out. You're gonna have to embrace it. Squirrel! Right, where are... Where are vegetables? Green leafy vegetables. We do need to find... I mean, is it onions? Like, that would be... Ah. Vegetable. That's fucking lettuce. See, that's not... That's... Yeah. Return to the lone camper with ingredients. Onions on burgers are nice. Not onion rings. Onions. It's different. <laughs> And you'd be able to find all the ingredients. Once you grab the propane by the grill, you'll be ready to get cooking. Just remember to follow the instructions I gave you. Excellent. It just doesn't work. It makes it too high. I mean, if it's just a burger and then an onion ring, sure. But, like, there shouldn't be, like... The burger shouldn't be taller than it is white. I'd, it's this is simple stuff. Okay, so I'm guessing we're building it from the bottom up. So we go there, and then we go with a little bit of lettuce, and then a little bit of tomato. We've then got the burger patty, and then we've got cheese for the mouse. Then we've got... Uh, so cheese for the mouse, bacon, onion, gherkin, bun top. That's gotta be it, right? I can do wide, I can't do tall. <laughs> cool, so we now have this perfect burger. Nah, eggs don't belong on burgers. They belong on like morning rolls and stuff like that, but eggs absolutely don't belong on burgers. I saw fucking, um, it was like Gordon Ramsay doing like a Wagyu burger and he put a fucking egg on top of it and it's like, why? Mmm, that smell, my nostrils are dancing with delight. You're in possession of a masterfully crafted burger, you know? Well, yes, because I cooked it. There is no time to lose then, we must be quick, but careful, safety is a top priority of course, and now we must be more careful than ever. Here, take this hatchet! What? You'll need to get in the clearing past the cap seat's cooking spot, place the burger on the stump and dash back out of there with all haste. Yes, you have to do it. See, I'll be standing slightly further away to uh, make sure no one disturbs you. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Like, I, I don't I don't know why anyone would put, like, so it's like a nice, like, wagyu bit of meat that he's making a burger out of, and he then, then puts a fucking egg on top, and you're sitting there like, shut up, Gordon, you fake chef.
cool. Right, now we need to go and find... It's not this way. Egg is nice, but it's not nice on a burger. And yeah, it's complete weight. Like, Wagyu is seen as that kind of like the finest sort of... Uh, cut of meat, isn't it? I think we were round here? No, we weren't. That's a lie. We were round a bit further. Oh no, it's a slab of Wagyu. He doesn't grind it at all. It's like a slab of Wagyu, but he calls it a Wagyu burger. See, I'm a massive fan of scrambled egg. Scrambled egg's my uh, go-to. Okay, burger is there. Tell the lone camper the burger trap is set. Wonderfully done. We'll make a mythological explorer of you yet. The Grafumpkin is sure to show itself now. While you were occupied constructing the burger, I was setting up the cameras. You probably didn't see them in the clearing since I hid them so well. They'll snap a picture whenever they sense movement. Knowing the Graf... Uh, easy for me to say. Knowing the Grafumpkin's fondness for pickles won't be long until we... Great Scott! What was that? Quickly, to the cameras. Go and see what they've captured. Got one photo. Added to backpack. That. Uh -huh. Oh my god, the Grafumpkin's real. Oh, let me see, let me see. There it is, there it is, in the third picture. After years of searching, I finally have proof. Thanks to you, I can walk back into the beastie observation and great unknown society with my head held high. <laughs> I like that. That spells bogus. Of course, you'll be credited for your exemplary work. If you're heading back to camp, you can inform the locals of our discovery. There was a small creature named Mihai by the entrance to the campsite. You seem particularly invested. Damn. I don't know what I'll, I'm guessing the tier I think the yeah the, the kind of the tears unlock memories I think I'm about to sneeze oh no <coughs> there we go sorry folks okay so we've got some more stuff thank you Tundra thank you Toasted And bam. Bam. Thank you, Miss Bismuth. Okay. That's is that enough. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh, they cleaned the camp. Wait, the Graf The Grafumbly Grafumpkin is real. I mean of course it is. Look what it did to this place. But since it is here, what happened to our pal Ronan? You've got to help find them before anything bad happens. Last thing they said is that they were heading off to the ruined castle to look for clues. Couldn't they have picked somewhere with fewer ghosts to get lost in? No, he has been devoured now. Marvellous job there. We have all the kindling now. Be a deer and set the fire, would you? Out toasting marshmallows make me feel like a young lass again. Hell yeah. A sweet treat, we have toasted some marshmallows. Nice. That kid in the kitty hoodie is adorable. Yeah, Mihai. <laughs> I feel like all the characters in this are quite well designed. Like, it's just cute. Nice. Okay, so this is like the upper fishing area? I don't know what this does, though? Can we hop down? No, we can't hop down from here. Hmm. Maybe we come back later. Right, now we need to go back to the... Uh, the kid that's stuck and be like, sorry kid, you're stuck forever. Really? 
Ruined Castle. We're going up to the Portcullis. We do have a hatchet now, which is cool. What? The thing he's missing bits? No! <laughs> Something's trying to keep me here and turn me into a ghost and then I'll have to haunt this castle forever. Wait, I have something that might help. I found this big key after getting stuck in here. See if you can use it to find some way to get me out. Oh, there's a spooky dungeon here. It's super dark, but if you take this head torch, you'll be able to see. My nan always packs me a spare since I'm no good at winding it back up. That looks like a collar? <laughs> Okay, so we need to find four cogs. Is this the key? Cool. Oh, these are some angry looking gargoyles. It's just pure muscle, Aurisca. Dusty dungeon. Oh, I like this head torch, it's quite cool. Okay, I feel like I missed something there. What's up here? Mm, a shield? We've just stolen an ancient shield. Fair enough. You know what, if I was to stumble across like an ancient shield in the middle of a castle dungeon, I would probably take it as well. It's got that, like, Skyrim, <laughs> take everything from the chest. I don't, I don't think you can climb. I think it's, like, areas that you can jump down from that are marked with the leaves. Sorry, I didn't check over on the left side here. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I have to wind up the head toad. Ah, that's cool. Oh, that's a lot of leaves. Yeah, I can't I can't just climb up stuff. But I can climb up here if it's a slope. We can't do anything with the flowers that block the paths just yet. Okay, so I've had... So, oh, okay, all of that was for the one... <laughs> the one little tear thing. I think it's more I don't have the kit to climb, but it's like, I don't think I can just climb up like normal la like ledges and stuff. I don't know how it works. Oh, what's this? Oh, a cog! Nice! Sweet. Cog acquired. And another tree to push. Thanks. I'm going to check just up here. I wasn't sure if that was the way out. Ah. Oh no, this is not the way out. This is a whole new place. When all eyes are on me, my treasure will be free. Okay, time to give this a whirl. Eyes there. Eyes there. And eyes there. All eyes on me, give me your cog. Nice. That was a relatively relaxing um, puzzle there. But we all know that I'm a puzzle god, so yeah, I mean, every every puzzle's easy for me. Never stumbled on a puzzle once in my entire history of gaming. They call me the puzzle man. What's along here? Oh. Uh. Is this like a school trip? Nerdy Nadia. Oh, oh, did you know that castle comes from the Latin word castellum, which means fortified place? 
Thank you, Nadia. Oh, oh, oh! I'm being bullied by a child. Unlimited ninja speed, yeah! Ninjutsu Nathan. They don't pay me enough for this. That was pretty funny. That was my pudding you took. Give it back. Stop pulling my hair, stop! <laughs> Naruto run, Nathan. Oh. God. Huh? <laughs> Holy shit. Why does... What the... Why doesn't that ever happen to me? Okay, we can't do nothing there just yet. Oh, holy shit, can we fire cannons? <laughs> okay. Let's have a wee wonder here. Ah, there's a cog. That is one way of doing it. Cool, so we could jump down there. I get the feeling though that we haven't found all the cogs required. Yeah, we've only got three, so we need to go back. We didn't explore further along in the cave, so I'm gonna go and check that out. Although there is a bit up here, I might as well just check. Wonder what's in this one. And boom. Cool. See, it's interesting because sometimes you can kind of go off ledges, but other times you can't. Okay, we're going to head back into the cave briefly. Back into the dungeon even. Because we didn't go along to the left here. Oh shit. I mean, yeah. Hmm. I think we need to try and find... I mean, I'm guessing there's a knight somewhere that's missing a helmet and a shield, and possibly other stuff. Best part of this game so far, no inventory management, 100%. It's amazing. Oh, that's cool. We missed this area, so we'll see if we can enter it. <laughs> Clara Loft! I'm a treasure hunter, like with the museums and everything, yeah, an archaeal or whatever. <laughs> I'm investigating this ruined castle and believe I've found the throne room. Problem is there's a pesky riddle to get in. It says only when the knights are complete can the king take their seat. I used to have a book guy called Indy take care of all the thinky parts of the job. I'm more accustomed to the fame and glory bit. See if you can find something around the castle that might help, eh? My experience is anything that go by, the way to open the door will be nearby. Oh no. Maybe we need to find more? There's the portcullis with the cogs. Ah, and there's that thing that I can push. What's that? Oh, it's a toad, sorry. <laughs> I was like, what? What is that strange thing on the floor? It was, it was a toad.
Yeah, I didn't mean to speak to her again. I only spoke to her the once and then I was going to go past her and then I accidentally hit eight. So we found a football. That's handy. Oh my god, there's like a million toads. All of them. This is good news. More toads the merrier. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I like that you just get, like, was it the blue water droplets or whatever it is for, uh, for just doing fucking anything in this game. <laughs> Hit every single cannon with a hammer? Have a drop. Let's go. Oh no, these kids are mucking around. Well, Jason here kicked our ball off the wall into the castle. But I found a better one. It's a bit heavy though. Do you think you could get our ball back for us? Well, <laughs> I landed in the pond just in there. My hands are starting to hurt. You've got our ball back. Can you get rid of this for us? It's too heavy to play football with anyway. Of course. Excellent. Eat my fireball, you troublesome knight. Alakazam. Taste my blade, you crafty wizard, huzzah! Nice. And boom. Another drop, hell yeah. So hold on, how do I get... I mean, I'm guessing I must be able to climb at a certain stage up that leaf thing. Okay, so this is back at the gatehouse. Cool. The helmets? Yes, of course. How could a seasoned archaeologist like myself not realise the helmets were missing? Looks like I've found myself a new book guy. If you place the helmets back on their heads, that'll probably open the doors. Trap and loot mechanisms are two things that stand the test of time very well. One helmet for you. And one helmet for you. Hooray! Do you have a cog? Yes. We own the castle now. Oh, we got a new memory as well. Let's view the memory. No, oh, no, goblins and evil mushrooms. <laughs> Press E to swing swords. Now we're talking. Take that, goblins. Okay. Do I need to fight the mushrooms? No. Where else do I need to go? Back here? Oh, yeah, now we can climb. Yeehaw. Now we're talking. Not only can we fight goblins to the death, but we can also climb. I love how they've, like, cartooned up this area. It's, it's nice. I can also survive jumps of great heights. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely what everyone did as a kid when they found a cool stick. 
I used to fight imaginary Urukai, it was great. There's actually, there's a country park near where I stayed with my uh, family. My mum and dad used to take me and my sister to quite a lot. And it always reminded me of uh, Amon Hen, the ending area, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. It was like really like thick woods and the paths were always covered with like leaves and like pine needles and stuff like that. It was great. So I just imagined I would fight Aurukai the entire time. I say that as if I wouldn't also do it now, it was great. <laughs> I don't think it deals with dark tones, so to give you a bit of an idea, because I had a chat with the creative director, the, the creative director um, lost his dad um, just before the kind of start of the game's development, um, so there's a lot of that wrapped up in the game, so it deals it deals with loss, but I'd say it's more hopeful, it's not dark, it's not uh, upsetting in the sense of, you know, a lot of kind of, like, abusive trauma or anything like that, so, uh, no nothing nothing like that, it's focused on, um, you know, grieving would be the one to do, I'd say, the, the way to say it. So I'd, I'd say that's, um, that's more it than anything else. So I realised I can climb up this bit, which requires, there. Nice. Right. Now the trick is, I need to find one more cog. What's happening here? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're playing on the cog. Too much spinning! Uh, okay. Can I... Wee! This is way more fun than looking at stinky old ruins. Huh? What do you mean you need it? Tell you what, if you get us a spinnier thing, you can have this spinny thing. Don't forget, this thing must be even spinnier for us to give this up. Hey, that's nice, it's super flat and spinny. What the- Oh, I gave them the shield, right. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, there's a spooky cemetery. Nice. something very cosy about this. It's just good. Oh my word, look at these. Glowing in, glow in the dark butterflies. Oh, a mausoleum, sick. Oh, wait, this is the start of the park. I got gotcha. you. This is the bit that we couldn't get across before. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go back and we're gonna get um, Ronan out of the, the portcullis. <laughs> yeah, ghost butterflies or moths. Ah, uh, moths are so annoying, man. I feel like you can never be really free of moths. There are the cats. Both cats have been really, really screamy today. And they have been fed several times. Did I do my hydrate? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it again. Right, are these all the same size of cog? They are not. Can I... I have to just kind of... Okay. Guessing the wee one goes there, the big one goes there. Boom. They call me the cog master. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Lower the gates. Repair the portcullis. Freedom! I knew you would get me out there before the ghosts got me. That's it. No more grafumpkin hunting. I am done. I'm off to my nan's in the caravan park. I need a cup of tea to settle my nerves. Oh, also, me and my nan grew this mega onion, and my nan wants me to enter into some veggie competition with a bunch of veggie fanatics. If you're heading over to the caravan park, you should come see it. You can't miss it. My onion is as big as the moon. Nice. Thank you, small child. 
Ah, Tundra. <laughs> A spear through my heart. Okay, to the mausoleum, which is apparently right next to the caravan park. Oh, what's down here? I don't know. Nothing by the looks of it. Oh, nice, the goths. Let's hang out. Shredder stew. Psst. Hey mate, do you see this angel sitting there? She's the only one for me. Only problem is every time I try and tell her I freeze up. Tried everything, even when I'm rocking on my guitar, the words just don't come out. My last chance is writing it all out, so would you be able to give her this letter from me? What's that? A love letter from Stu? For me? I always catch him sneaking glances at me when he thinks I'm not looking. He may be all rock and roll on the outside, but inside he's a big softy. I want to send him a letter too, but I'm also a bit shy. Would you be able to give him it for me? It mean the world to me. What'd you say? A note from Jen. I can't believe this is actually working. Here's another letter for you to pass along. Hmm, another letter from Stu. Oh, he always knows just what to say. I have another letter for him too, if you wouldn't mind delivering it. I will do this for as long as required. Oh wow, she's written back again. I think I've just put about everything I can into words though. I need your help one more time, mate. I've been writing this song for her. She's my inspiration, you see. A perfect combination of rock and roll and beauty, like a black rose. That's it, black roses. If I get her some of them, she'll know I really mean business. Three should do the be enough. I don't want to overdo it. Can you help me out? Was that just one black rose or was that all three? It's just the one, okay, so I need to find more black roses. I wonder if the- I reckon there'll be some down here. Black roses are kind of cool. Is that a bat? It's a bat! Look how sleepy that bat is. Bats are cool. Have you ever watched, like, a bat eat fruit? It's just the best fucking thing in the world. Must be another love heart somewhere. Bats jump scare you in Minecraft a hell of a lot, you're quite right. But bats in real life are fun. Because all they want to do is eat fruit. Okay, where... I did not see another black rose. So there was one there. There's none here, I think. That's red roses. We don't care about red roses. There's the black roses. Nice. Cool. We now have a black rose bouquet. Roses for me? Oh, Stu, come here, you big softy. The perfect wing. <laughs> that achievement's called Goth Love. Help the goth kids find love. Well, we try our best. <laughs> and then it's immediately bright. <laughs> we, can't, we can't keep locking up people. We already locked up Ronan. I mean, we didn't do that. What's better than toasting one marshmallow or toasting two marshmallows? Quite right. Right. Journal-wise, local map. It said head west to the caravan park, but I'm... Going, oh, wow, we have to go, like, really far back. Okay. So this is the lower camp, we're gonna go this way. I imagine there's... Because we can now climb out of here. Cool, that's good. 
Up we go. Look at that. Skill. <laughs> we can now claim up this tiny bit as well. Excellent. I like the the progression is like a mixture. It's tied to the kit that you find, but it's also tied to the memories. It's like the memory taught me to climb there, which is kind of cool. Because it also focuses you to like find all the the water droplets. I don't want to call them tears in case that's not what they are. It, it seems a bit sad to literally call them tears, but it's, it's a good way to do progression and sp like spread it between um, doing um, like finding bits of kit. Emotion juice, that's what it is. That's what it's called for the rest of the stream now. We are emotion juicing. We're juicing with emotion. Okay, we can now head over here. I can't believe it. you actually have a photo of the Grafumpkin. Is this real? Even when we were hunting for its children, I didn't really believe in it. I heard you helped wee Ronin out the ruined castle. That was good of you. That portcullis is quite complex. Wait, is that your dad's journal you've got there? Ha! Blast from the past. He was always scribbling in that thing. Looks like you're making a lot of progress. At this rate, you'll be up the mountain in no time. <laughs> but you still can't get past. Ah, we can now cut this part down. Putting the emotions in the juicer. Oh, we're in the murky marsh. I'm quite supportive of the amount of frogs in this game. I also like their design. It's really nice and, like, simple, but in a very cutesy simple way. Okay, we need 750 for the next memory, so we've got our work cut out for us. Um, right, let's pass the weird milk bush thing. And there's the railway. We cannot go up that path, though. Interesting. And up we go. We cannot walk across the railway tracks, which is good. I learned how to climb walls before learning how to climb. Yeah. Absolutely. Another delicious emotion drop. Hey, we found the caravan bench. Nice. Oh, cute. There's a play park and there's a shitload of bees that totally don't look friendly at all. Oh, there's a small beach. That's nice. We support bees. We're on the football pitch. There's a whole bunch of birds on the football pitch that we cannot get past. We are banned. Banned from getting past the the birds. What's happening here? Oh no, I can't get past at all, okay. Okay, we'll hop down for now and run along. I'm reading a book where the main cat like one of the main characters is called Bees. Funnily enough, bees is uh, a whole bunch of bees, but they're kind of interesting. It's like a decentralized AI system of bees, which is kind of funky. Um, excuse me, young man, would you be able to help me out? Yes, granny. Is that fucking badger? <laughs> Won't take long. It could be your good deed for the day. Just come up through the gate there. That is a badger in a skip cap. Excellent.
Thanks for coming round, I'm Granny, nice to meet you. You won't believe it, earlier today a crow came and stole my glasses right off my head. There have been real pests around here lately. I've heard they've been getting up to all sorts of nonsense all over the park. Would you be able to fetch my glasses back for me? This particular crow left behind some wafer and a smell of rum raisin. My grandson here would usually help me out, but the poor soul just doesn't seem himself. <laughs> that menacing crow. That wasn't even a crow up there, was it? So the cr okay, so the crows have just like blocked off our access to pretty much everything. Oh, the sunflowers are nice. It's one of Jessica's favourite flowers. Oh no, I can't believe it! All three of our queen bees have buzzed off somewhere. You don't look too buzzy, would you be able to take this bug net and help me track them down? Sure. Have you seen our three queen bees? I've been looking everywhere! <laughs> I am supportive of bee puns. I think there should be more of them. Hey, Highland Games! There's Highland Games! That's quite impressive. There should be more of them. Oh yeah, the veggie holy fucking hell! What the what? Hey, surprise fan, how you doing? Hello there, you must have come to see the famous gala vegetable competition. Well then let us get started! I just cannot decide which one of these mega veggies is the most impressive. All of them look so good. I feel like I can be honest with you, I trust you won't leak this. I landed this role purely on the merit of being able to make vegetable based puns. My passion is actually in judging fruit growing competitions. I have no idea how to judge a tomato, I really must catch up with the times. What's that? Tomatoes are fruits? Well you seem to know a lot about what does and doesn't constitute a vegetable, how about you pick the winner? I think you'll find it's a lot harder than just sticking a number on a vegetable. Oh no! What's our favourite, uh, I mean that's a giant onion, giant pumpkin, giant butternut squash, tomato, corn, carrot and lettuce. I mean a tomato that size is surely way more impressive but yeah we'll give it to the kid from the camp because we're, we're good. Ah, the big onion. A late entry by Ronan. You'll be holding back the tears, I'm sure. Thanks for appeasing me. <laughs> oh no! Look at the little lettuce person! Oh man! <laughs> Devastated! I like her pumpkin hair too, that's cool. Where is Ronan? I was expecting to kind of see him about. <laughs> got himself, yeah, got himself trapped inside the same portcullis actually. What are these hipsters doing? Nice. We have caught the queen bee. Um, he is red. That is a red, red person. Oh. It's a shame we've been watching our sunburnt friend over there crisp throughout the day. Just wish there was something we could have done to help. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> hey, pride deck chair. Hazy Heather, if you think about it, what are frogs really? Fucking hell, what are frogs? Existential frog crisis. Oh, 
we go. That is one sleepy musician. <laughs> I like that there's two instruments there that we could just ruin his day with. happening. <laughs> what are frogs X-Files themed plays? It's a good question. I think those crows might have made off with that poor ref's good sense. Oh no, we still can't get to... How do we get the crows to move. There's so many of them. The gnome homes. Oh no, this is the veg patch. Oh, I don't trust those gnomes. Maybe get them all facing each other? I have no idea if this will do anything. Uh, uh, someone's also dressed as a bush there. Ah, turning them all into the middle did something. That's cool. Okay. Oh, there's a gnome up there as well. All the gnomes. You know what, that's actually something we don't do a lot of in Scotland, which I think we should do more of. And I, I imagine this is like particularly an American thing, but like stands like that that are shaped like the thing they sell. Or at least like, you know, like the, the donut on top of that there. Like, yeah, that's fucking great. We should do more of that. I think the only thing that we've got um, in Scotland, which is an American thing, is the, the Krispy Kreme donut stands. And it's shaped like the box. I find them quite cool. Um, I, I encourage it. More, more of this, please. We need, we need more of this in Scotland. Hyperluminal are onto something here. Come on, darling, don't be shy. I've never seen anyone toss a caber that far before. Let's go get some popcorn as a treat. Conductor Katie, oh, this isn't good. Isn't good at all. All these crows. It's a bad omen. Okay. Crows are fine. This area is huge. I want to see a return. I want to see a return of the <laughs> the food shaped kiosks. It's what we deserve in these dark times. I do like that we can kind of just wander about wherever and like not everyone is like you don't get to speak to everyone but that's also fine. I'm guessing I'll need to find the orchestra at some point. We've not really had that quest yet. I remember there used to be a game that I played, I think it was for the Wii actually and it was um... Oh, it was Thrillville. It was called Thrillville Off the Rails, and you had to design your own theme park. And my theme parks were amazing because you also got to design your own roller coasters as well, so you could like really, really go to town on them. Um, I I loved doing it, and they had concession stands that were like, um, like that. It was great. Okay, I still feel like it's. I need to find- so the other bee is actually near the far end. Oh, who's this? Bubbly Benoit. Benoit Blanc. He's here. I love this beach towel. It makes me want to go to the rock pools just to show it off. You should show it off, Benoit. Ah, we can't go that way yet. So this isn't actually Pine Hearts, this section, right? 
Was that where the, like, the campsite was in the castle? That was Pine Hearts, or is this whole area designated Pine Hearts? Okay. There really is just crows, like, everywhere. Right, we'll try and get the bees. We've got one more bee to grab, I think. And I'm trying to remember where. So it was in the kids' play park. Where's the entrance to that? Ah, we can't get around that way, that's why. Hmm. Oh, I didn't climb up here. Right, we can hopefully shake Granny's glasses out this tree. Excellent. And she'll realise that her grandson is actually a badger. <laughs> Fickle Filippo. There's nothing better than the sun, the sound of birds and some delicious ice cream. Well, maybe if it was gelato instead. Those pesky crows made off of some of the music CDs I use for my van. Track them down myself, but I've got ice cream to sell. Could you find them for me? If you bring them all back to me, I'll be... I'll be play you some cool music from my van speakers. Volume on this thing goes all the way up to 99. Get it? Like a 99 cone? Do you have 99 cones in the US? Ice cream van jingles are the worst thing, yeah. For the, for the Americans in the audience, 99, like if you went to an ice cream place and asked for a 99, would that ring any bells at all, or...? Right, let's go and give Granny her glasses back. No clue, okay. It's fairly... I don't even know where the... It, to be honest, it's probably... It, it's probably something racist. Um. But a 99 is a cone with ice cream and then a flake in it. I, they, I, I, I can only imagine that's probably... <laughs> like, it was probably named for a racist thing. But it's since lost that meaning in its entirety. I, I have no idea, actually. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh my glasses, thank you so much. I can barely see without them. I've been going on about all day to my dear grandson. He that <laughs> Badger! Uh, goodness gracious, these woodland creatures are up to mischief today, aren't they? Oh, where is my grandson? Ah well, never mind, he knows his way around. In the meantime, I vote we take matters into our own hands and deal with these crows. I had a scarecrow that would keep them away, but some children ran off with most of it. At least I think they were children, might as well have been a group of well-dressed squirrels. Anyway, all that was left behind was the scarecrow's mask, which should do for our purposes. Crows are quite clever, so it won't be easy to spook them, but a bit of jumping around with the mask on should do the trick. Give the crows around the park a wee fright first, and then we can talk about keeping them away for good. Scare off three crow murders. That. <laughs> sure. That'll do. I like the mask. The mask's great. <laughs> okay, bees. We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna do the hopscotch. Let's go. Oh. Boom. 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 Oh, he's done it. Stunning. It originally cost 99p, yeah. I think there was there was another name for a certain ice cream that was not great, as far as I remember. But yeah, th th they are definitely not 99p anymore, it's embarrassing. Last time I went, uh, 
<laughs> I went, me and Jessica were on a walk, it was like middle of summer last year or something like that, and we walked up to the ice cream van and we were like, oh, 2 99s please, and he was like, that'll be five pounds. I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, devastating. Awesome, okay, so those birds are scared away, which means they now have the uh, football pitch back. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's super duper soft serve kind of stuff. Botanist bot, sorry, botanist, but botanist Bruce. Hi, I could really do with a favour, mind helping me out? I'm looking for a shovel. If you find one, come back and I'll have some work for. <laughs> find a shovel and then I will give you work. Right, thanks. Aha, we have scared. Ah, it was murder on the dance floor. Ah. The original inventor of soft serve ice cream was Margaret Thatch. I knew there was something wrong with him. <laughs> also, what? Really? That's awful. Lovely work, my dear. Let's get to work on rebuilding that scarecrow to stop them from returning. We'll need some brightly coloured clothing for it really catch their eye. Do you know Katie, the band conductor? Such a sweet young lady. If you talk to her, I'm sure she could help us out with one of those wonderful band uniforms. Ah, chemists. Not to be trusted. <laughs> Ah, we can return the bees as well. Unbelievable! You found all three queens. You're pretty handy with this bug catching buzz in this. Why don't you hold on to that net as thanks? Excellent. Be cool. Find all the queen bees. I saw you scaring away those menacing crows. Thanks for helping out. I'd be happy to lend you a spare uniform. Anything for Granny. The only issue is I may need it for the band and they should be playing soon. All my band members have wandered off. Would you mind helping me out and sending them my way? I'd do it myself. I'd have to finish. I, ha I have to stay here to finish setting everything up. I'm still a bit shaken up from the chromageddon. Band shouldn't have made it too far. They're quite easily distracted. Right, so there's one back here, I think. Uh, or maybe no. There's one like between the houses. I think it was up here. Oh. There we are. I was going to say, there must be a. <laughs> there we go. There. What? How, how long was I out? I'm going to be late for the gala. Mission accomplished. Can I hop down here? And I think there was like three on the other side, wasn't there? So we'll run this way. We'll run that way. Run this way. Oh, was it? There was like one round here, I believe. Because we cleared a bit out for them. Maybe this way? Ah, it was like round the side here, wasn't it? Yeah, there we are. Hmm. Oh, Kate sent you. I guess I should head over. You should. <laughs> Don't know why, it was <laughs> why that was our responsibility to remind you to be on time for your show. Uh, there is now one person who was like there and then there was the other one who was like on the island I think. Phew, I can breathe again. I thought I was done for sure. Oh bother, I've got to get to the show. Nice. I don't think it was this way. Nope, this is the fair way. Oh, I'm gonna be golfing. Is it round here? 
Yeah, it is. I'm saved! I made the jump over and was too scared to even attempt the jump back. Thank you so much. All lost band members have been acquired. We will now jump our merry way back and get what we need for Granny. Fantastic, the band's all back together. My nerves are totally short from all this bird business. I just can't keep my hands steady. Would you be able to help me out once more and take on the role of conductor? The band should know the main beats. You'll just need to keep them working together. As you've seen, they can be quite individualistic. Oh no. Oh no. Excellent. We've nailed it. You were a star. I've never seen such electrifying conduction. The crowd loved it. Here's that band outfit. I promised you, if there's anything else I can do, please let me know. You've saved the gala. We're brilliant. Okay, backwards to Granny. Also, just going to quickly look at... Yeah, so... It, that's, that's the main quest. Shit, I missed Granny there. Granny will probably tell me to go to her garden. I can tell you've been busy. I can hear the band from here. I love the brass instruments. A brass band plays every year, and every year the music takes me back to when I first heard it here with my own grandparents. I make sure my grandson comes out to visit every gala to hear it. The fresh air's important, the memories even more. Ah yes, this outfit will do nicely for the scarecrow, would you mind putting it back together over there in my veggie patch? Sure. Let's do it. That? That a fine. Granny's caravan's pink roof's pretty cool. Looks even better than before. I'm sure that'll be the last we see of those menacing crows. I think we've made quite the team. You've done a week's worth of good deeds, but can I bother you for one last favour? Would you please take this lentil soup to my darling husband, Janik, at the golf course? He's the groundskeeper there. Sure. Help Granny save the gala. Nice. Now to find Janik at the golf course. Probably have to go on like a golf ball hunt. <laughs> so I think golf course was this way. Yeah, that's it. The fairway. Oh my god, what happened here? Dave, that golf club throwing pest. Oh, hello. It's not as bad as it looks, just a slight oversteer, I'm afraid. Sorry, old chap. I seem to be blocking the path here, but don't worry. There's another way around. See, if you could use that imposingly sharp axe to clear those logs, I'm sure we could get all this sorted, eh? Oh, God. Right, so we need to go all the way around. Okay. Can I drive a golf car? No. Devastated. Groundskeeper Janik. Oh, my lentil soup. Granny be heartbroken if I went hungry. Thanks, Sonny. Hey, I'm Janik, the course groundskeeper. Nice to meet you, I'm sure. Anything out of place, let me know. Say, you look capable. Would you be able to lend me a hand? My assistant's slacking off somewhere and I'm stretched to the limit. What's in it for you? Always needing something this generation. How about doing it for the sake of fresh air and feeling like you've done something with the day? Youth's wasted on the young. Some privileged golfer's been leaving his clubs around. You do that when they're used to having a caddy doing everything for them. Go grab them and return them to me. If you can get of him a not-so-gentle talking to as well, that'd be grand. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if there was golf clubs this way. I'm just going to quickly check. Mm. There is one there, but I'm not sure if that counts. Nah. Okay. We will find all the rogue golf clubs. There's one there. And there's the bench. Nice. We will grab this one. And oh god, what's going on? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm using Mordo, my job would be such so much easier if people would stop racing the golf carts. This little birdie just got a hole in one. Drinks are on me. Nice. I like the music here. It kind of is very like Mario Kart esque. Dapper Dave. Mmm, the golfing was indeed good today, Mary. No, no, I lost at golf, but I managed first in the golf cart derby. It's like proper Edinburgh accent there. Posh Edinburgh accent. I need 750. So I've got a wee bit to do. But then I'll get another memory. And then hopefully level up. First hole green. Ah, this one doesn't have climbing. Hmm. Yeah, no worries. First hole T. That's quite far away from the um the clubhouse for the first hole. Oh, I can't jump down that way because that golf cart's there. I don't know what that weird dig spot... I mean, guessing it's X marks the spot. It looks like you need a giant screwdriver, though. Okay, we'll hop down here. We'll come down this way. And we'll chop those trees. Boom. I think I need to run all the way back round in order to speak to him to tell him that I've done that. We're not allowed to shout in this game. <laughs> right. I think I need one more golf club. How many golf clubs do I have? Four. Cool, so it's just one more we need. I wonder if you can actually golf in this game. Oh, that's something there. Okay. I'll go over this way. Ah, there it is. Oh, those are my clubs. They must have fallen out the hole in the bottom of my bag. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. I was so worried. These are anti antiques. I inherited them from my grandfather, you know. Are you helping out the groundskeeper today, Sport? Truth be told, we've all been really struggling to play with these molehills everywhere. Would you be able to put in a good word with him to get help get them sorted? He's probably already handling them. It's unlike him to not be on top of things. I saw him head to hold three just over the bridge up ahead. Don't bother him if he's busy. He does so much around here. This place would be a shambles without him. No idea if that's a good idea or not. Um, there he is. Give that guy his clubs back, eh? Cheers. I did try to pick them up myself, but I'm not as spry as I used to be. Hope you gave him a piece of your mind as well. Lazy son of a gun. Huh? Oh, he had a hole in his bag. That's just carelessness. Recklessness. I ought to ban him from the course. Oh, he likes how I keep the course. I suppose he can stay for now. Righto. Well, I suppose we should deal with those moles then. I've tussled with them before. All you need to do is cover up their hills. They get the hint and they move on. Always liked shoveling. Something methodical about it. Here. I need Ted to hold one to mow the green. Should have been at the top of my list. Go grab my shovel on hole four. Cover up these mole hills. They cluster around here in hole four's tea. Thanks, lad. Jeez. Do I have run? <laughs> I like the little sounds they make. Right, we need to get a shovel. Oh, 
Okay, that was just a shortcut to the first hole green. We need to get to the fourth, which I'm guessing is this way. There's the shovel. Cool. Hooray! A new bit of kit. Hope it's not too mean to fill in the, <laughs> the molehill. Okay, shovel down and up. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. Digging a hole. I am a dwarf. It is wild how, like, catchy that song is. I feel like it's got no reason to be half as catchy as it is, but it is a, it's not bad tune, you know? Okay, and... our final molehill. Boom! Tell the grooms keep on a whole one that the moles are gone. Cool, we'll do that. We'll probably do that and then wrap up, folks, if that's cool. Um, I'm going to nip away a little bit earlier than usual. Um, I am feeling a little bit unwell. My stomach's doing backflips at the moment. Oh, you dealt with the mole hills. That was quick. Good lad. You can keep that shovelless. Thanks. I've got another back at the shed. Listen, I was away to mow the screen, but I pulled the rope star and my back's gone and locked up. I'm asking a lot of you, and it's not usually like this, but would you be able to help me out with the mowing? I've set the height so you won't dig into the green or anything. Just clear out the tufts. Thanks, lad. I'll head back to the shed. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> this is... Amazing. Just mowing the sands. Oh, thanks, Peggy. Sorry, I, I missed uh, seeing you there. No, I've got real water next to me. My stomach was feeling weird before I started the stream, but it was like fine to that degree. Cool. I don't know how this game manages saves. I'll return I'll return these to the groundskeeper and I think that'll be like the the bet. Oh no I'm, oh god. Does it give you a guide on where to roughly find them? Save shows the journal in the bottom left. Okay, so I'll hand this back and then I'll see that save kind of pop up. Ten final ones. I heard the mower going, your work's been solid so far, so I'll trust your mowing's up to par. Thanks for taking that job over for me. Sorry about running off like that. Truth be told, my back's been getting a lot worse lately. Granny thinks I should retire and take it easy, but groundskeeping's my passion. There's no other way I'd want to spend the day. There's only so much relaxing a person can do, so the way I see it, I may as well keep going. Sorry, I'm prattling on again. Happens in old age. Oh, those are my seeds. Can you plant them for me? They just need to go on that blue tarp in front of the clubhouse. Last thing, promise. Okay. There we go. Hey, it's a salt tire. That's cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> Looks great, even better than if I'd done it. Thanks, lad. It can be hard working with your hands, but it feels good at the end of the day, don't it? Make the most of it. You know, we've got through these tasks in record time, and I've even had time to get through some paperwork while you were handling things. Might be time for me to take a step back from the manual work and put a bit more trust in my assistant. Well, most manual work at least. I'll manage bits here and there. Don't tell Granny. Well, now, while I'm delegating, could you run these nails down to my old friend Captain Alley at the Rock Pools? I was just on the radio asking for some. Take some time while you're down there to enjoy the beach. You've earned a good rest, and thanks for all your help. Nice. Oh, we're going to have to watch the new memory as well. Because we might unlock a cool skill. 
There are dinosaurs on this golf course. And an egg. Oh, there's several eggs. I have to pick up all the eggs. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! No! You'll never catch me. Oh my word. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Nice. Oh, we now know how to cross them. Brilliant. It's just one more thing. Just one more thing. Mods, can we ban that bot? Thank you very much. Thank you, Tundra. Quick on the draw. Is that what what are those he's holding? Is it like eggs? Is it smaller eggs? At least I now know how to drop. Ah, it could be golf balls, yeah. That's yeah, fair. Awesome. So with that we have saved. We have completed the egg thief memory three. Uh which is pretty good. Bear in mind, we've still got tons to go and explore. But with that, folks, I will wrap up for this evening. Thank you very much for joining me. Pine Hearts is just wonderful. Um, I love all the little nods to Scotland in it. It's not overtly Scottish, but it's it's got it's obviously got golf. It's got the Highland Games. It's got so many like nice like Scots language throughout, uh, which is always good. Um, I don't know, it's just something that's very, it feels very cosy and homey to me uh, in particular. Um, so yeah, I absolutely just love it. And props to Hyperluminal for like going out their way and making a really Scottish game. Oh, another thing they gave me was, um, they gave me a postcard, greetings from Pine Cars, which is really cool. Um, but anyway, I will wrap up. I'll chuck on my ending screen that was created by the wonderful Tundra, and that's a little bit Pine Hearts esque, actually. Um, but yeah, if you would like to join the Discord, of course, you're more than welcome to be in there. Um, there will also be links posted to my um, wish list if you want to check that out. You can also check out my Ko fi. Um, thanks very much for all your support on Ko fi. Uh, and then last but not least, there is the YouTube channel. Um, I uploaded part 16 of Hollow Knight yesterday. Uh, we did the Path of Pain. I did that first thing in the morning on like a Saturday and it was really, really intense. I shouldn't have done it first thing in the morning. Um, I also have a death counter, uh, which is uh, embarrassing and kind of funny. So hopefully you enjoy that. There is a lot of swearing in that video. Just, like, mentally prep yourself for a lot of swearing. Um, similarly, I think I'm going to be putting up a uh, part two of Sable um, probably sometime this week. Uh, I do need to get into recording a little bit more. I know that I've not done Send You a Sacrifice in a wee while, um, but we'll hopefully get to that at, at some stage. Uh, but yeah, we're also slowly growing in subs on the YouTube, which is good. Um, we're coming up for like 1,150, I think, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going well. Uh, but until tomorrow, folks, we will be checking out System Shock tomorrow. Um, so that's, uh, not a new release. It came out for the PC a wee while ago, but they are doing, uh, um, they've done like a console version. 
and the console version comes with an update, quite a big update. So looking forward to being terrified with that. It is kind of a sci-fi horror. Uh, but yeah, I will see you next time, folks. I'm actually going to try and find someone to raid at the moment. Um, just so we can go and share the love a little bit. Um, we will go and raid... If I can find my channel, please. Oh, no, I've... No, I don't want to listen to myself. You actually click on your own stream and it's a disaster. Um, right. So, raid. And let's go and raid into Casey Explosion, who is playing a game called Venture to the Vile, which sounds pretty interesting. Maybe a little bit of a change of pace from Pinehearts, uh, but Casey is absolutely wonderful. Uh, so we will go and raid into Casey. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for some System Shock, and I... Uh, we'll catch you then. Have a fantastic Wednesday and I'll see you in the evening. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.